Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm reviewing my first ever indie car or car diecast. Uh, recently, about maybe this month or a month ago, I started to watch indie car and then I've heard of it and you know, I've been watching it and it looks pretty interesting. So I have been watching new mostly and then I've been watching some older races and it does look pretty cool so if you guys can tell me some more facts or like stuff for newbies because I'm a newbie to the series um, please don't be afraid to comment it down because I would like to know okay so we're gonna be reviewing this racing champions indie racing league even though it's not the indie racing league cart max pappas I, I think this might be a Reynard Toyota uh, I picked it up at the flea market and a new one that I went that it was it actually was two dollars so I thought you know I should pick it up because I don't own too many like vintage indie car like from the 90s and there's the <clears throat> the 96 97 indie racing league events and there you go so we'll be opening this one up and let's go And there is the car, and it, and it comes with this very nice stand, and you can see a little bit of the sticker, like, I don't know, like little dots, I guess, because I guess this was in the sun. It was a very, it's very hot over here in California right now. I don't know, understand why. So here's the car, and we'll take off the car, we'll set it to the side for now, and there's a stand and there's a little collector card. So we have the 1997 edition Racing Champions Max Pappas. I guess that's a photo of Max Pappas in his racing suit card, which if you don't know, it actually stands for uh, Championship Auto Racing Teams. I actually never knew that. And see, Max Pappas, home in Newport Beach, California, born October 3rd, 1969. There's a fake autograph, but it does look convincing though. Uh, Newport Beach. I live in California, so I guess this is my guy. I don't know if he still lives here, but that's pretty cool to know that there's there, there was a bunch of indie car drivers from California, so that's pretty cool. And the die cast, and wow, I didn't expect to get that much quality. And I can see that the spoiler is very oh. That's pretty bad quality right there. The spoiler is pretty, ugh. I don't know if I really like that. No, it doesn't seem like I can fix it. I'll see, maybe I won't be able to, so. Back to the diecast. Wow, the quality is pretty decent, actually. So you got the Firestone Firehawks, MCI. I think it's called MCI World Con, I think. That's pretty cool. The paint scheme is pretty simple, but it looks pretty nice. So you got number 25, Toyota, TRD, Firestone. And I believe this is on the like the, the oval circuit, like the oval package, the aero kit. But I'm really not sure what chassis this is. I want to say it's a Reynard, but I'm not sure. So here's the side of the car. See Max Pappas', Max Pappas' name is right there if we can focus. It is right over here if you, if you struggle to find it, right there. The PPG logo, cart, and it's all metal. The spoil down to the spoiler and down to the bottom, it's, pretty, it's actually metal, which is pretty nice. The tires, I don't know if they're rubber. It feels like rubber and plastic, but I'm not sure. See, it says powered by Toyota, MCI, M25. I guess that's what he was driving back, 96, 97. It, it looks pretty decent and I think it'll go along with some other indie cars that I have or cart you know I mean it's basically the same thing now it looks pretty nice and I'm gonna show you the rest of the indie cars that I have even though they're not like from recent champions they're mostly like from Hot Wheels and one from Action and one from a gas station so we'll show you right now 
and there's a Takuma Sato uh, <laughs> Indy car that I got for like a, like a, two quarters. Unfortunately, it was missing the wing, so I made it out of I made it myself. It's pretty decent because it's on the oval kit. Uh, so the rest of the cars I have is this. I have three versions of the Hot Wheels 500 Indy cars. The one in blue, which is Mad Racer, a blue Hot Wheels one, and this this one I think came out in 98, 99, somewhere around that. These two actually have the Goodyear's on them. Unfortunately, this one I wish this one did have Goodyear, and plus the sponsorship is right there. I don't know why they couldn't, but this one I do like the most. And I'll put it next to the Max Pappas. But they're all pretty nice. They're all they're all metal and metal, so that's pretty cool. Sam and also at the same flea market, I also found the Brian Herta uh, in the Racing League Indy car. Even though I think the next year in '98 and nine or '99 they could like. They went to cart and I think it was number eight. It feels kind of cheap, but I think this might be might be a Lola, I guess, or maybe a. It says Reynard on the box, and I think I have the box right here. And yeah, it does say Reynard. Twenty-eight shell Reynard Indy Racer, and there's a photo of the car. Not really. I don't know. It might be accurate, but I'm not sure. And you know, it's a Mercedes. And I can show you the back. There's the specs. I want to pause and maybe take a screenshot of it or something. Okay, there you go. So, you know, this one's pretty decent. I actually did have this one, but unfortunately it was missing the spoiler. Uh, so, it was nice to find one with the spoiler. So, that's pretty cool. And the last one, which is probably my first indie car, but it was like the most unique out of all. It's, uh... Well, I guess unique. This is an action cart. <laughs> I think this might be Michael Andretti. Number six, Havlin. I, I tried to look up this car, and I don't know where you would have gotten it from. If someone could tell me in the comments, I would appreciate it. But this one's very nice. Rubber tires. Comes on the, the road course slash street course aero kit. And it says on the bottom that's also a Reynard. But I'm not really sh I can't really see what like car maker made the engine. So again, I have more questions. Comment them down below because I want to know more about it. But after that, it looks pretty cool. I like because you know Havlin and it's Kmart. You know, R.I.P. Kmart. Am I right? <laughs> so that is the review of the Max Pappas. Again, I don't know, Toyota, Reynard Toyota from 97, Racing Champions, and a little bit of my uh, IndyCar collection. And I've been thinking of making an IndyCar stop motion series. I'm not sure yet, it's just some, sometimes I don't have the time or, you know, I, I'm just very lazy about it. So, But if someone wants to see it happen, tell me down in the comments and maybe I'll make it. Because I have a couple of tracks in mind that I want to make and race on some of them can be old some of them can be new so that has been the review of the max pappas uh reynard toyota so if you liked it please give it a like subscribe turn on notification and i'll see you next time peace